Hi, this is Kelly from Pateka Kelly and Play Learn Talk, and today's video is a follow-up video to yesterday's video where we learned how to make this visual schedule that you can see at the bottom of the page. This is a built-in token reinforcement system that you can be incorporating into your Boom Card games to just give a little more structure while also building the anticipation and excitement of the game, okay? So I went ahead and added a little task here, and today I'm gonna demonstrate two variations uh, that are you know practically identical they really only vary based on the next navigation button okay so this video is going to teach you how to create your navigation button within the boom card workstation all right so it should take maybe like three minutes four minutes i hope you enjoy it all right so on this first page we have put the ornaments in the gift box it's a really general direction and our next button is solely serving as a next button it's just taking us forward it does not matter what we do on this page whether we put all the ornaments in or one or even none, we can still go on to the next page. So I would recommend this kind of page if you are a therapist or educator who is either using your games to lead your session virtually or you're making games for therapists and educators to do that. Okay, so um, I really like this style of game because it allows me the freedom to um, really use it with a multitude of students and adjust my goals and how I'm targeting things in the session, right? So I could easily um, tell one student to put all of them in in my next session. I could have someone put none of them in or I could allow them to do free play. Um, but no matter what, I'm going to be able to proceed on to the next one, um, you know, just in case in that moment I didn't want to work on all of the ornaments going in. So I hope that makes sense. Um, now, so we can go ahead and put in one, right? And then if I hit next, it lets me go through, no problem, all right? Now the second variation is probably gonna be ideal for teachers who are, teachers and therapists who are using this both in session and also sending it, you know, home for independent practice, all right? So here we have a next button that it has conditional linking. You have to put all of the ornaments into the gift box, so you have to meet that requirement before you're allowed to go on to the next one. So I'm really interested to know in the comments below, let me know if you are designing for therapists that are leading their sessions with your Boom Card games, or if you are making them for independent practice. Okay, I'm really curious. I tend to make the ones that are therapist-led or educator-led, okay? Now in this one, if we put in, let's just put in two, and we hit next, it's gonna give us that whoops audio feedback and the red visual feedback. All right, so let's go ahead and go into the workstation. We're gonna look at the coding of both of these. Both are very simple. You need to make sure, first things first, you need to go into your details, make sure you have it set to flow magic. So you're gonna go down to the bottom, close to where you see the publish to store private publish buttons. And right above that, you're gonna see flow magic. Just make sure to check it. So if you don't check it, you're not gonna have the linking options, okay? So we do have it checked. So when I hit my navigation button, you'll see I have answer options generated, correct, wrong, link to, all of these different tools that I can now use because we're in flow magic, all right? So for our navigation button, this is the page where we want them to be able to go on and do whatever they really want, okay? So when we click on our button, we're going to go link to next card and that's it. We don't click conditional link, nothing else, all right? Now I'll point out on this page, I do have all my items created in a caption pick and I think this is a really cool feature. I have another video on it, um, but I wanted you to see it because it makes your life a lot easier if you need to transfer things from page to page. So if you're interested in that, um, leave a comment below and I will send you the direct link. So I have all my ornaments uh, made as draggable. I have my present made as draggable as well. And then for Z order, my present is at the very, very front because everything is falling behind it. I do not have a drop zone on this page, okay? And that makes it so I don't have to measure any kind of accuracy. Now on this page, the one that says put all the ornaments into the gift box, you can now see there is quite a difference, okay? So I have all these lines that are going to something that's underneath my gift box and that is a drop zone. So I made this drop zone simply by pulling out a text box, deleting the text from within, and then I clicked on it to make sure the whole entire square was highlighted like it is now, and then I clicked drop zone. So instead of the draggable, I made it a drop zone, and then I set my paper clip to all, and I even connected this present right? Because it's right on top of the drop zone and I want it to be counted. All right. I don't want the students to have to put it there. 
I want it just to be there and count it already. Now my next button, when it is set to link to next, I have checked now conditional link. And for link if wrong, I have done no link, which is gonna keep them on the page until they figure it out. Now you might want to do like a redirect page. I also have another video on that, so just comment redirect page if you'd like the video link to that. Um, but if you wanted to do that, you would link to whatever page that was. So see how this red arrow is going across? Let's say my redirect page was here, then I could just click on that page and it would link it. So it says link connected. All right, but we don't actually want to do that. So link if wrong, we're going to change it back to no link. So that is all you have to do. So let me know which one you're going to try out. And before you go, I'm going to quickly show you how to make these navigation buttons in case you don't have pre-made ones. It does take a few extra seconds, but it's not anything that's too hard. So I'm going to pull out a text box. You could pull out a button, but I want to show you how to do it, you know, just from the very, very uh, foundation. So I am going to go ahead and type in next, and then I'm going to double click it, change my font, and change the size to 20. I like to center all of my font. And then I'm going to change my background to black. And then I am going to double click my font again and change the color of it to a green. And come down to border and I wanna give my border that same green color. And I wanna make my border a little more obvious. So I'm gonna make it a little wider and I'm gonna change the radius to round it out a little bit, okay? So right now it looks like my text isn't too centered, so I'm gonna just move my button down a little bit, and that looks nice, okay? So what's nice about creating this button is um, once I link it, you know, I can link it to be a next card, but I can easily just copy it. So I'm gonna grab that little tail, Command-C, Command-V, and I can just easily double click inside and change it to a back button now or whatever I want it to be, a home button, anything, right? Um, but I will point out if you're copying from button to button, then you want to make sure to link it to the correct place. So previous card for that one. Now let's say, um, you know, these buttons are like this and I like the alignment of the um, back button or let's see we'll put it right here so I like the alignment of the back button I'm going to click on the back button then click on the next button go over to align and then hit horizontal and it's going to bring it up so that it is in that same row as where the back button is okay so that's just another little tip that you can use if you are making your own navigation buttons all right so I moved it over here let's double check again make sure it's really aligned and it is all right, that's it. All right, you guys, I hope you have a great evening and a Merry Christmas tomorrow if you celebrate. And I will also be posting a video tomorrow um, about uh, linking different uh, pages as well. So it'll be another navigation button video. All right. Okay. Bye, you guys.